Hello and welcome back to Future Mega Projects. New York, the Big Apple, the city that never sleeps, in one of the largest, most developed cities in the United States, there's always construction underway. In today's video, we're not going to look at any old construction projects in New York. We're diving into some of the largest, most expensive mega development projects currently underway in the city. From new subway lines to massive office complexes, these projects are sure to blow your mind. Hudson Yard an undertaking that has preoccupied two of the world's largest private real estate developers. The $25 billion development is a shining new city ex Nihilo, a wellspring of future tax revenues. They note how the project sailed through the public and environmental review processes, winning neighborhood approval partly because at the time it seemed better than an earlier proposal to erect a sports stadium on the site, partly as a feat of engineering. It rests on a new $1 billion platform which decks over a stretch of infrastructure that for generations acted as a kind of Noharelland on the west side. Noharelland is now making way for what promises to be 16 new buildings, including some 4,000 new apartments, a school, parkland and upward of 55,000 jobs. Slightly more than 10% of those apartments will be subsidized housing, with more such housing underway are already built by the developers off-site. Now occupying the eastern end of the rail yards, the project will ultimately cover 28 acres when the western half is finished. Manhattan West Manhattan West is one of the largest and most complex developments underway in New York City. The project, bound by 9th and 10th Avenues and West 31st and West 33rd Streets, is built almost entirely above railroad tracks leading to Moynihan Train Hall and Pennsylvania Station. It is part of the larger revitalization of Manhattan's rapidly changing far west side. Public space is at the heart of the master plan. The buildings are organized around a series of distinct plazas, enabled by the engineering of a 2.6-acre platform that covers the rail tracks. The development's central plaza is lined with a combined 225,000 square feet of retail. The public space forms a series of urban corridors. It also completes the major reactivation of the streetscape on Manhattan's far west side. Greenpoint Landing Greenpoint Landing, a 22-acre master plan development site located on the Brooklyn waterfront, is transforming a former industrial area into a new multi-building development within an enclave of parks and tree-lined streets. The master plan calls for the development of a fully integrated community with 11 residential towers, providing 5,500 housing units, of which approximately 1,400 will be affordable public spaces, parks, a public school, a full complement of retail amenities and an expansive waterfront esplanade, to be funded in part by Brookfield Properties' $40 million investment in infrastructure adjacent to the new residential. Hunters Point South Hunters Point South Waterfront Park transforms 30 acres of post. Industrial waterfront into a program-rich public space that simultaneously acts as a protective perimeter for the neighboring residential community. Hunters Point South is envisioned as an international model of urban ecology and a world laboratory for innovative sustainable thinking. The design for the Hunters Point South Park incorporates a broad array of sustainable initiatives, transforming 30 acres of post-industrial waterfront into a program, rich public space that simultaneously acts as a protective perimeter for the neighboring residential community. The site is waterfront and city, gateway and sanctuary, blank slate and pentimento. New open spaces with connections to the surrounding communities provide access to the water's edge and spectacular views of the Manhattan skyline. LaGuardia Airport Redevelopment The Port Authority operates LaGuardia Airport and is leading the modernization and redevelopment of the airport to meet the needs of the 21st century. The comprehensive redevelopment of LaGuardia Airport involves transforming LaGuardia into a unified airport with new terminals better transportation access, additional taxi lanes and best-in-class passenger amenities. Construction of the new unified airport includes new terminals for the existing terminals B, C and D, an improved roadway system, new parking infrastructure and other associated projects. Delta Airlines will develop, construct, operate and maintain the new terminal to replace terminals C and D, and a new lease agreement with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey through 2050. Bronx Point Housing the affordable housing lottery has launched for Bronx Point, is a 22-story mixed-use building at 575 Exterior Street in the South Bronx. The structure yields 542 residences, 56,000 square feet of community facility space, 12,000 square feet of retail space, and will serve as the home of the Universal Hip Hop Museum. Available on NYC Housing Connect are 432 units for residents at 30 to 120% of the area median income. 
ranging in eligible income from $18,515 to $198,600. Amenities include a 24-hour attended lobby, elevator, bicycle storage, shared laundry room, gym, community center, children's playroom, and outdoor terrace. There are also educational and community facilities available to residents, including the Universal Hip Hop Museum. The World Trade Center Site the World Trade Center is a 16-acre, world-class destination operated by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, is the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, and home to New York's largest community of media and tech innovators. The 3.1 million square foot lead gold certified skyscraper features premier office space, a tenant-exclusive amenity floor, and some of the most spectacular views in the world. In your opinion, which of these projects will be the best in New York? Are there projects we did not mention? Write it in the comments. Feel free to give us a like. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.